in the spirit of this time, I must say, no one and nothing can justify what I must proclaim to you. Well, justification is superfluous to me, since I have no choice, but I must. Well, I have learned that in addition to the spirit of this time, there is still another spirit at work, namely that which holds the depths of everything contemporary. Um, uh, the spirit of this time would like to hear of use and value. I, I also thought this way, and my humanity still thinks this way. But that other spirit forces me nevertheless to speak by your justification, use and meaning. Filled with human pride and blinded by the presumptuous spirit of the time, I long sought to hold that other spirit away from me, but I did not consider that the spirit of the depths from time immemorial and for all the future processes a greater power than the spirit of this time who changes with generation. You know, the spirit of the depths have subjugated all pride and arrogance to the power of judgment. He took away my belief in science. He robbed me of the joy of explaining and ordering things, and he let devotion to the ideal of this time die out in me. He forced me down to the last and simplest things. As you know, the spirit of the dead took me, my um, understanding and all my knowledge, and places them at the service of the inexplicable and the paradoxical. He robbed me of speech and writing for everything that was not in his service, namely the melting together of uh, sense and nonsense, which produces the supreme meaning. But the supreme meaning is the path, the way and the bridge to what is to come that is the God yet to come. It is not the coming God himself, but his image, which appears in the supreme meaning. God is an image, and those who worship him must worship him in the images of the supreme meaning. Um, well, the supreme meaning is not uh, the meaning and not an absurdity. It is image and force in one, magnificence and force together. The supreme meaning is the beginning and the end. Well, in, it is the bridge of going across and fulfillment. The other gods died and their temporality, yet the supreme meaning never dies. It turns into meaning and then into absurdity. And out of the fire and blood, of their collision, the supreme meaning rises up, rejuvenated anew. The image of God has a shadow. The supreme meaning is real and cast a shadow for what can be 
actual and corporal and have no shadow. The shadow is nonsense. It lacks force and has no continued existence through itself. But nonsense is the inseparable and undying product of the supreme meaning. Uh, uh, like plants, so men also grow. Some in the light, other in the shadow. There are many who need the shadow and not the light. The image of God throws the shadow. Well, that is just a great as itself. Um, the supreme meaning is great and small. It is a wide as the space of the starry heaven and as narrow as the cell of the living body.
with you and I send to my solitude.